Hi everyone, Crystal here from Galaxy Finds and I have a smallish haul for you today. I went to a store that I used to go to all the time that was my favorite, favorite thrift store. They always had really good prices on stuff and they had fun vintage. But I stopped going there. Um, they changed over the whole store. They changed their prices. I mean, I know everybody's prices are going up, but like they opened this whole like boutique area and they put every single item that is new with tags in it and then like every single brand that they like recognize like they put everything Zara in there they put like BCBG like just brands that are like popular or whatever and they even put like new with tags like Wild Fable from Target and like they cut off the price like on the original tag and they had like a Wild Fable shirt for like twelve dollars i'm like i don't even think it costs that much in the store <laughs> brand new to buy it so they did like after they started doing that i stopped going so often i haven't been in like many many months i don't think i've even been this year this is the first time but i was in the neighborhood so i said i'll stop by luckily i did find some good stuff um their pricing structure is like they have color tags and they rotate every week so they used to do three colors. They would do the lowest tag was at 150, the middle tag was at three dollars, and the highest tag was at like six dollars. But each, but things were only six dollars for one week, and then the next week they go to the the next tier, the next. Now they only do two colors, and they do 350 and 650. So their stuff has definitely gone up. The um. The only ones that haven't gone up is the kids' clothing, so they do 75 cents for the bottom tag and then 150 for the highest tag. So I did look through the kids' stuff just because I was like, well, I might as well, you know, if I can get something for 75 cents or dollar fifty. But I did find some really cute kids' stuff, and I don't often buy kids' stuff. But okay, I'm gonna start with this sweatshirt because I want this in my size. <laughs> look at this sweatshirt. So it's all like Japanese stuff. It is, um, it's a vintage Lucky brand. It's like a, maybe like a Y2K Lucky brand, but this is the cutest thing ever. Like, I really do want this for myself. And I did look it up on Poshmark and they did make them in adult sizes, but I couldn't find any in my size on Poshmark. So, sadly. I got this. This is like either a Y2K or 90s like kids top with a little butterfly on it. It's by InDesign Girls, size 7, 8. I got, I got this because it was super cute. It's got a little bee on it and like bees are super in right now. And it's by the brand called Name It and it's like an organic cotton. I looked up the brand and like their dresses retail for like 30 bucks I think so I mean not bad and I found ooh, I found this set that I thought was really cute so here's the top and then it comes with like a little skort it has like little shorts under it and this set cost me $1.50 so um, it's by Lavender Alley it says it's made in the USA so I thought might as well pick it up pretty cute and then I got this. Oh my god. I am obsessed with this. It's like a little Easter outfit. This is vintage. This I think will do well in the spring. It's by Color Kids. It's size 0 to 6 months. So with something like this, like I'm not sure if I should list it. I should wait till spring because obviously the child that would wear this next spring is not born yet. <laughs> so I don't know, if, like, unless someone's just planning ahead, but it's so cute. And then for the kit, last kids thing I got was this. So this is a Hannah Anderson. It is a size 120, which I can't remember what that is. It looks kind of like, like a 3T. It's all knit though. It's really cute and like rainbow and it's lined. So I thought that was really cute. Anyway, on to the adult clothes. So, oh wait, I did find a purse. So in their boutique section, they have an entire glass case full of um, those like quilted, printed Vera Bradley bags that like 
nobody cares about anymore they were all like I don't even know how much they cost but I can't even sell them for like 20 bucks now but in the regular section I found this this is a vintage coach briefcase it is missing the shoulder strap but it, and it is like you know it needs some some cleaning up but I got this in the regular section and the insides are actually really clean it's just the outside that looks kind of gross it's like the inside is like perfect so and I, I mean I would seen some in like a hundred dollar range like I don't think I'll get that much for it but it is vintage coach and vintage coach has been trending lately so that was interesting <laughs> I got this dress because I am freaking in love with it. It looks like a flapper dress. It's fully beaded and sequined. It, I can't see any flaws really. Oh, there's like one little pull right there. But like, can you imagine like going to like a like a 20s party or even for New Year's Eve someone might want this? I think this is an 80s dress. So like 80s, those 20s. Oh my God, how pretty is this? So I had to grab that. <clears throat> Next, I got a pair of Lululemon leggings, which I almost didn't pick up because they're just so boring. They're just black crops. Um, Lululemon. I have so much Lululemon lately and none of it is moving. These are size eight. Yeah, so maybe I'll get 25, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Um, next I found this vintage top, I really like the ruffles, it's got like sort of a polka dot, but it's like, they look like little bows, and even the sleeves have little bells. It says size 7, 8, there's no other tags, but it's like a cotton button up, it's got all its buttons, they're just not buttoned. That was cute. Next I picked up this Soul Cycle sweatshirt which I saw that soul cycle has been trending. This is a little pilly. I'm going to have to like sweater shave it, but yeah, it's just like the regular soul cycle. It's like a cropped sweatshirt. Uh, next is this like nineties Everlast, like cropped boxy t-shirt. Um, like there's the tag, the, the tag is all like washed out. This is the old tag. The, the shirt looks like it's in, perfect condition but yeah this is cool next I got this vintage top it has like a removable collar on it it's got like the sleeves are like sheer and it's lined in the middle it has little belt loops but there's no belt um, it says it's by Jumo J-U-M-O I don't know never seen that tag but it looks like a very 70s maybe 80s style next of course I got bathing suits this one I really want for myself but I'm not sure if it's gonna fit me it's just old navy but it's so cute it's got even the the padding in it still like it doesn't look like it's been worn so yeah it looks like it's in perfect condition I don't know if old navy does like the um, date tags maybe they do <laughs> uh, I don't see a date but this looks pretty recent because like gingham is in right now yellow is in right now so even if it doesn't fit me I can sell it like I said you can sell bathing suits year-round because people go on vacations and actually in the winter people are really looking for bathing suits because they can't find them in the stores so this is like a bathing suit romper it's like shorts it's got like this tie like this clip up here um it does like have the regular bathing suit underneath but this is more of like a modest bathing suit that some people are looking for it is vintage obviously it's by gabar g-a-b-a-r i thought this was cute this I got because it's like a very grungy, moody, floral, like mini dress with long sleeves. It's by Passports. Um, it's a size extra large. 
it might need to be soaked. It, like the tag looks a little grungy. The sleeves are sheer. The middle is lined. This is a dress, right? Okay. Sometimes I get a dress and it ends up being a romper. So this I got, even though I have to list this right away because, you know, summer. But it's uh, Gretchen Scott Designs. I think it'll do pretty good. So yeah, it's got pockets. It's an extra small. It's cute though. Next, I really like this dress. <laughs> so this is definitely a 70s dress, but it has a nice butterfly on the bottom and butterflies have been trending. So look at that. All the buttons are here on this one as well. They have like little circle bead buttons. It says it's a size 10. It's probably like a small. It's very cute though. It is also missing a belt, but whatever. This dress is by Mata Traders, which is a um, mod cloth brand. Mata Traders usually does really well for me. And this is like a really cute like fall plaid print. Um, it feels like linen, but I don't know if it is. It's a medium. I don't know if they're going to tell me what, what it's made out of. Probably not. <laughs> anyway, it's very cute. And I think this will probably sell at least for like 35-ish. So, something just dropped. Hold on. Oh, okay. So, this is just an uh, Abercrombie & Fitch mini dress. And I picked it up because the last time I got Abercrombie... It sold in less than 24 hours. It was just a pair of like linen shorts and they sold like that. So I'm like, hmm, maybe there's something to it. It does have a little like deodorant mark that will be easy to get out. So that was, you know, little black dress. Um, this next one was one of the most exciting finds. <laughs> I have actually never picked up this or never found this brand before. It's Young Edwardian. But like some of the comps for this brand are like insane. So I don't know if it's just particular types, but this is like dusty purple. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And it's like, just like a little faux wrap. Oh wait, no, it's not a faux wrap, it's a real wrap dress. Um, it says it's a size seven, which would probably be like a small-ish, extra small maybe. But it's so pretty. This is very 70s. <laughs> And then the last thing I got, I actually picked up in their boutique area, but it didn't have a tag on it. So I brought it to the register and I was like, well, the worst they can do is be like 20 bucks. And I'll be like, nah. So I brought it up and the guy was like, oh, I'll just put the 650 tag on it. And I was like, all right, that's fine. Hey, there's Gerard Darrell or Daryl. Um, their stuff retails for a lot of money. This is a silk top it's in beautiful condition so it says size 46 which I think is like an extra large it's got these like four leaf clovers all over it just thought it was super pretty so I couldn't find anything else on this like I couldn't find this shirt anywhere online so you know we'll see how it does but that was my entire haul from my ex honey hole uh, which I hate saying but yeah um I mean, maybe I'll go back once a month or so and check it out, but they do run sales sometimes and they'll do like a dollar a piece for stuff, but I haven't, I just haven't been paying attention to their social media or anything. I've just, I haven't been going. So I'll probably go back there again. It's just kind of disappointing since they used to be so awesome, but thank you for watching this haul. Hopefully I'll get these things up quickly you can see that this whole rack is this is this is my death pile here this is my death pile here <laughs> welcome to my death pile um I just need to keep listing and I've been sick for like over a week so I'm finally getting back into the office and getting things done so thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you next week bye